welcome to Jojo's AI channel. I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to generate an artistic QR code without installing anything on your computer. All you need is just two websites and you can find my note with the prompts in the description below. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. For the QR codes, the first one is a really simple QR code generator. You can just go to this website. It's super easy to use. The second one is the one that has a higher success rate and you can also change the color of the QR code, but make sure to change the fault tolerance to 30%. This is the second website to generate a QR code. And I already put the link right here to make sure this tolerance rate is at 30% and hit generate. So you will get a QR code like this. Just right click and save image. And the second step is to go to run diffusion. You can scan my QR code to get to this website, but there's a secret entrance. You have to make sure to select the application, automatic UI, control net and deform in the first step and the hardware select small 50 cents per hour and the stable diffusion version in this part select stable diffusion pre-release control net 1.1 and you hit select then launch the website you will have to wait a little bit in run diffusion the first step is to find the right checkpoint this checkpoint is ghost mix so it's in the drop down list i know it's hard to find but it's in there and I find this checkpoint the easiest to generate QR code and go to image to image, copy the prompt and the negative prompt, upload the QR code, then scroll down to make some changes. Make sure your model is DPM plus plus 2M Karas. The sampling steps set to 50. Change the width and height to 768. The CFG scale, you can leave it as is like seven and denoising strings 0.75. I didn't change anything here. And all you need is just one control net QR code, which is the exact same one as the one I uploaded inside the image to image. Make sure you hit enable and select tile. So the control weight set to 0.87 and starting control steps. This is the part you can test from 0.17 to 0.23. So with different QR codes, you need to adjust the starting control step in order to get a one that can scan like this one. This one is so cool. I love this one. And the ending control step set to 0.09. Then you hit generate. You will get a QR code like this that can scan. But with different prompts, you'll probably test different control weights and denoising strings and the starting control step and ending control step to see which one generate the best results. This is the part you can play with. For this super cool looking robot ninja, I use 0.017. So you can test to see which one works the best. The AI generated images are so random. There's no way you can generate consistent results. The best way is to generate multiple images and pick the one that can scan. If you like my video, you can also find me on YouTube at JojoJoy. I have a main channel in Chinese. You can type 99AI to find me there. All of my videos have English subtitle.